Now that we know how to edit text, let's have a look at how to edit photos and photo galleries on our sites. On our studio page, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see we have these images within our layout. When I mouse over an image, you can see that the icon changes to a clickable element, and if I click on that, we're presented with a small option window that allows us to change settings and the image itself. The first option in this box is to replace or edit the image. If we click replace, it brings up another menu for us to select or upload a unique image. You may see images we've used throughout the site already listed in here. We can also click the upload button if we want to upload something new from our computer. Or we can click this full view button, which is going to give us a wider layout if we plan on browsing and modifying images as needed. I'm going to select a different image for that space, maybe this building. So let's just click select and then done. And you can see it's been replaced within our layout. If we needed to make a small edit to that image, we can click the edit button. It brings up this photo editor and we can do things like crop the image, resize it, flip it or add overlays. I'm going to leave the image as is and click save. And let's look at the remaining options within this menu. Below that we have link image. If we click on this option, it allows us to apply a link to the image, essentially making it a button to be clicked to another page. So we can select an existing page, or we can link it to an outside page, an email address, or a file for a download. Let's close that. And below that, we have options to enter in something called alt text and a tool tip. If you need help understanding what those are, there's these little question mark icons. And if you hover over them, it's going to give you a little explanation of what they do. One other important note about uploading your own images is just be sure to upload an image that is reasonably sized. We don't want to upload a 30 megabyte image to the web as it can be slow to download and cause speed issues throughout your site. Let's close this box and let's edit the photos within a photo gallery. These are single images, but if I scroll down on this page, you'll see this area that shows some of the staff in our business. And if I click on that, this is a photo gallery, so you can see multiple images listed within. If we want to add new images to this area, we can click the plus image, and we're brought to the same image selector we had before. If we want to rearrange the images, we can just simply select these three little dots above the image and drag and drop them. If we'd like to edit the captions on any of these images, so you can see it says Tony, and then there's some information below about Tony, we can click on Tony's photo, it brings up the image settings for that, and if I scroll down in the image settings box, here's all of the information listed on that. So if we make a change in here, let's change his last name to Tony Smith. And now I close this box, you can see that it's updated automatically on the site. Another option that I have is to enable links on gallery images. So you can see the option here, and if I turn that on, what it's going to do is allow us to make these images clickable and go to other pages on the site. So if I bring up Tony's image again, now we have an option to edit the link. And again, we can link to an existing page or an email address or a file for download. So editing a photo gallery is not that different from editing a single photo. However, you have a few more settings in terms of captions, the order of the images and enabling links. And again, when I'm happy with my gallery changes, we just need to republish the site and it will be live on the web.